Welcome to High Definition and thank you very much for joining us in the second part of our special Halloween and Day of the Dead. Now we are going to talk about a horror movie for adults. Obviously the list is endless and there are many of them that really gave us some good scares or even nightmares. And then you wake me up in the morning at fucking 3 o'clock to go to the bathroom. Well, it is devil's hours. What if a toilet pulled me down? Ah, rubbish. You gotta be kidding me. This film went completely unnoticed by my radar if it were not for the divine intervention of my dear friend, the writer and journalist Mario Duran, back in Halloween 2008. Thanks Mario, happy Halloween! Awarded by many fantastic film festivals but very mistreated by the cinemas, who actually ignored it. The time has been kind with Michael Doherty's first movie and to this day Trick or Treat has become a cult movie. This bloody film that has 27 murders is the ideal option to see with your friends on a Halloween night. The whole story takes place in a fictional town in Ohio in the USA. While they celebrate Halloween with a parade that is the wet dream of many Halloween lovers. After that, we follow the development and conclusion of six apparently isolated stories, having in common the presence of a little boy dressed in an orange pyjamas and a youth mask. The movie has many virtues. First, the story is full with vampires, werewolves, zombies, witches and sociopaths, just like in Nightmare Before Christmas, although not everything is exactly what it seems and I found this fascinating. I actually love that the characters of the movie are introduced with comics during the credits. These comics give hints that the plots in the movie are interrelated. Also, the comics give hints about the fate that awaits some characters. Other virtue, the art designing, the decoration, the scenarios, the whole look of the film is the envy and inspiration for all of us who celebrate Halloween. Another virtue of the movie is that each story has a different genre. It has an 80s slasher story with eroticism and pretty girls. It has a black humor, camp, gothic and supernatural horror, so there is something for everyone. And despite the differences, the film still feels the same. Contrary to other anthologies, where each short film feels so different that it makes you feel annoyed. What I really like about the movie is that the origin of Halloween is explained by Rhonda, the witch. She tells that a Celtic New Year's Eve called Samhain was transformed into All Hallows Eve and then Halloween. And you like that, don't you, nerdy boy? Yes, I do. But you cannot talk about Trick or Treat without talking about its absolute protagonist, Sam. That boy in orange pyjamas that is nothing more and nothing less than an embodiment of Halloween. Sam's name comes from the word Samhai, which is the Celtic festival that gave birth to Halloween thousands of years ago. Sam manifests to remind the modern world that Halloween is not just a party, it is the day in which the line between our world and the supernatural becomes a deal. Oh gosh. But this doesn't mean a threat to all those who shall respect by following two simple rules. Light a candle in a pumpkin preferably to lead souls through darkness and share your food with anyone visiting your home. Who knows, maybe the one asking for candy isn't a child at all. Okay, I get it. The message of the movie is clear. You respect Halloween traditions or you're gonna regret it. 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 Well, thank you for watching this video and have a very nice Halloween and Dia de Muertos. Happy Halloween and happy Dia de Muertos. Happy, happy. Ciao. Hola.
Si te gustan mis análisis sobre películas y quieres más chacoteo cinematográfico, dale click a este enlace. Si quieres conocer más sobre mi canal, dale click a este otro enlace. Y si quieres recibir todas las críticas recién saliditas del horno, suscríbete al canal. Y no se te olvide comentar el video, darle like y en el mejor de los casos compartir. No cuesta nada y motiva muchísimo.